tutorial with Mr. Putchmo. Today we are going to learn how to quickly and easily erase the background of a photo using photo scissors. This Now this is super easy, but it can be a little tricky at times with certain pictures. Some images you're going to upload and it's going to erase the exact background and it's going to be perfect and some are not and you're going to have to use the tools in there. So we're going to go through the process. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go through the process and show you both techniques. So the first thing is to navigate your way to photoscissors.com. You are not going to log in. There is no need to log in to this. All we're going to do is going to use the upload image button. <clears throat> and we're going to find the picture that is um, in your pictures folder. Now for the assignment, you are going to have Mr. Picture, Mr. Petromo take your picture with his tablet. And you're going to... Um, get it from your email. So you'll have to download that file from your email first, and then it will show up in your pictures just like mine here. So when you have that process done, you're going to double click that picture. Photo Scissors is going to process it, and automatically it is going to erase the background of your picture. Now, as you can see, there are some troubles. The one thing is, is this weird thing on my shoulder where it didn't quite the computer thought this was an extension of my shoulder because it's the same color. So we've got a problem to fix that. And then there's some few little tiny things down at my feet that I don't even know if it matters because they're so small. I think everything else is good. If you if you look through the outline of my body, there might be a little issue right here with my elbow being cut off. Um, but And maybe, oh, my top knuckle is cut off too. So we do have a few little things to fix. So. Um, First things first, we can zoom in and out like this. And wherever you put your mouse is where Photo Scissors is going to focus the zoom. So if I put it down here on my knee, it's going to zoom at my knee. Everybody see that? That's the first thing. Um, and then once I'm full picture, I can just zoom wherever I need to. So let's first go to the shoulder problem and let's get rid of this thing. Now, you have a couple tools at the top. You have zoom in, zoom out, but you can use the, your mouse wheelie to do that, and it's a little easier because you can zoom out on the perfect spot that you want to edit. And then you have a plus for the foreground and a minus for the background. So anything that you want to remove, you're going to put in red. Anything you want to add from the original picture, you're going to put in green. So we're going to use the red tool, and it gives me a red circle and that is going to erase things so let's start just a little bit and when when you are erasing it will not show in the preview until you let go of your mouse button and then you can see I erased that little bit over there so I need to do a little bit more and erase a little bit more and I can go over that I can overlap it it won't matter and see now I'm getting closer and closer to my arm so just going to be careful and I can do one little swipe at a time and let go of my mouse and check my preview again. Now that's pretty good on my shoulder. Now I need to get up close to my face though and it's getting trickier. You can also resize your circle right here if you want to make it a little smaller and get in there, get into tight corners a little easier and you could actually make it really small to where you can scroll right in and erase little tiny pieces until you get that line. Just so, get right up next to my face. Get that, try to get it as close as you can. Get right here in this corner. And let's do a little better job there. And then one little better job there. All right. Um, now, the next part is this piece right along the side of my face. Actually, I could do a better job here, too. Just do a little bit better of a job. The more time you take with this, the better this is going to look. Um, and then I'm going to want to erase some of this right here. just want my face. I don't want these black lines. And then that starts with my hair, so I don't want to 
erase too much, but I'm going to get this even right here. And a little bit down here. So when I zoom out, that's much better. See, so when you zoom out, you don't have to be as perfect, but I do have a blurry spot here that I'm going to try to get rid of. Let's see. Does that get rid of that? So that clean that up. I have another blurry spot up here. But it's actually removed a little tiny piece of my head, if you can see that. So I'm going to zoom out. And this time, I'm going to use the add or the foreground tool. And I'm going to go to that spot right here above my eye. And I'm going to tell the computer that I want to make sure to add this part. And then it will add it back in. There, that's better. So it's like touchy, and you just have to touch it up. Now I have some weirdness here with my hair, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the computer to let my hair come through too a little bit better. Just swipe it in, and you can overlap. <clears throat> overlap my hair there, and then it fills it in just a little bit better and I get rid of that blurriness too. There, that looks pretty good in that spot. Now, there's another funny thing going on with my ear. So I'm going to take some time to fix my ear. And again, you just keep going one little bit at a time with your mouse, let it go. And you can see your, your changes on your preview. See, the color here is blending in with the background, that yellow cabinet, and so the computer doesn't really know what to do with it. Now, I've added a little too much right here, so I'm going to switch to the red tool, and I'm going to shave a little bit off right here. Just a little, though. There. Now, when I zoom out, I have a whole ear. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the last spot I need to fix is the tip of my toe. So I'm going to go back to the green, and I'm going to add that in. Looks like it cut off the, the whole, let me zoom back out and get in my whole foot there. It cut off the whole white part of my sole. So I'm going to make this just a little bigger. Let's see if this makes it look a little bit better. Yes, that is definitely going to help. So. Um, you can overlap on the shoe part because the shoe's already in it, but try to get really close with the floor part. That way you'll just get the shoe in there. With the white rubber bottom part of my shoe. Now I gotta reposition myself, pull all the way out, and then use your mouse to zoom back in and finish up the toe of my foot. And then it's still blurry right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell the computer to allow this part. And see, yeah, that's better. Go a little bit further. Just add a little bit. Much better. That's much better. Oh, and a little bit right here at the back of my foot. So I'm going to I'm going to draw that up there. There. All right, that's pretty good. I have the same issue on this foot, so I'm going to. See how close I can get, and I'm going to allow that part to go. Oh, that has created a problem here, hasn't it? Oh, there we go. All right. There's always an undo button if you are erasing or adding stuff and you find right away with the preview that you don't like that last action, just simply undo it, and it will save, just like regular undos, it will save several of your last mistakes or last changes. Get all that side of the shoe. There we go. What is that yellow thing in my shoe? I have no idea. All right, so I'm going to zoom back out. A 
<clears throat> it's weird to get in your whole picture back again when you're using that zoom technique because as you zoom in and out it moves the picture around on it <clears throat> so as you just saw what i had to do was actually zoom in and out several times to get that back now i'm going to look at my my new picture here and i'm going to check all around I, oh, I forgot to do that knuckle. Let's do the knuckle. It has detected my knuckle as being part of the background and removed it. And so I'm just going to put it back in. There. So that was a real quick little one. Resize. <laughs> you just have to play with it until you get it back on your screen. All right. Now I'm pretty happy with that. I am ready to save this file. Now the checkerboard in the background means that it's empty. There's no background, it's transparent. So when I save this file, it will just save this part, but it'll save it as the size of this square. So the save button is up here, the download. Hit the blue download button when you're done, and you may download in low resolution. Now let's go try them out in video. <clears throat> now I'm on a new edit. I'm going to put a curtains background on video one, video track one. And I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm going to import my media. So up to my media, import, and I'm going to find my two files. We're going to see which one works better. So Petromo Ping is the, um, the one from we video so i'm going to search that one all right they are both finished so now remember the layer lesson you're going to need to put your um picture into video two track in order to layer it with the the curtain background so let's, let's so that one imported nice i have no background and now we're going to have a little bit of here. I have uh, chosen a little fighting pose for myself. I'm going to insert video track three. And I am going to put, um, let's go find, oh, look at this one. This one is great. I am going to have myself fighting SpongeBob. That'll be, that'll be fun. <laughs> the original plan. SpongeBob fighting. Save image as SpongeBob muscles. Go to photo scissors. Oops. And clear our palette. <clears throat> Go to upload a new image. And put our SpongeBob muscles. This time it's really quick because the background of this one is all white. So it was like that. I'm going to save that one. And I'm just going to add the word transparent to the file name and hit save. And then in we video, I'm going to import that picture and choose my parent one. And once that one processes, now I can put that in video three. And look, the both of the images are over top of each other. Now, remember our earlier lesson, go into the editing and scale it down just a little bit and drag it over and drop it. Now I can line them up so that their feet are on the same or put their feet off, but I'm just going to line these up. I'm going to hit save, and then I'm going to go into the SpongeBob and do the same thing. And I can actually, you might need to be increased a little bit in size to match my body size, and then hit save. And now I have a new video and now I have a funny fight scene with some dangerous music behind it. All right, so that's a fun little uh, thing that you could do with just about any pictures. Remove that background, throw them in WeVideo, and have fun with it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.